know, when I was in Canada, we went to a place which was a government run thing where you took something, it didn't matter what it was, they would val evaluate it and then you could borrow whatever they had in the, the place. Mm -hmm. So if you took in a pram that you didn't need, but you needed some scaffolding and they had scaffolding in there, they would appraise it and think, yeah, the pram's worth blah, blah, scaffolding. Yeah, okay, you can borrow the scaffolding. Mm -hmm. And then the pram would then be put onto display for people to come in with whatever they had. <laughs> and then they could take away the pram. And what happened was, over a period of time, obviously, people left stuff that was there permanent. Yeah. In other words, they would turn around and go, yeah, you have it. Mm -hmm. And so what happened then is they would build a stock up of uh, borrowable things, things that you could borrow. And what matters is that the quality and the usefulness of the things that they borrow increases. It was a pure recycling. They love recycling the Canadians. And the mm. thing is, is that it's, it's a pure recycle. So I, I, I've, I've got, believe it or not, it looks like I've got a spare solid fuel stove. We've been talking about stock yeah. solid fuel stoves this morning. Well, that's all, what I do. All, all I need in the garden is, like they call it, call it a chiminera or something? A chiminera, yeah. That's a lot cheaper than a, than, oh. than, a, than, a, than, a, than a household solid fuel stove. There's no doubt about it. And the thing is, is with a household stove, that's got, your stove would probably have more useful life in somebody's house or somebody's boat or yeah. somewhere where it could be used. Whereas all I need is a chimney like for the this, garden. Like yeah. the, an old stove like this, mm -hmm. which is no good for inside a house or a boat, but could be turned into a chimney because the the rules would be that there is certain things that you can't have in a house, which would be a crack in one of these. Oh, I see. But, but outside, outside, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So that could be recycled as a chimney. My, one, of the, one of the people that I help, because what I do is I train people up for wages. Oh, right. I don't employ anybody. Yeah, yeah. No, well, you can good. come in. If you wanted to know about stoves, do. you could come in, all right, mm -hmm. and be in here with me giving you my experience as payment. Yeah, well, that, that, that's the other half of this. Uh, this project that I want to that I want to run here it's exactly. about it's about skills so it's exchange exactly yeah if you could it's do, not just it's about not tools just about it's it's about learning everything. how to how, how to be more more not not self reliant yeah. but co reliant exactly yeah. that's what it's all about because if you've got something that of a skill that I would like mm. and I've got a skill that you would like why not just sure. no payment. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. Yeah. And then the way that it is, is that then you've got a skill that you can then can show somebody else. Okay. And but, so it goes like a tree then, doesn't it? Yeah, but if you create a currency um, based on time that people put in, then I don't need to have a skill that you want. Exactly. We can work We can work yeah. with the locally generated currency. I can see what you mean by that. Yeah, that'd be a good <laughs> so idea. I've, that I've, done, I've, done, I've done a bit of that on the South Coast. Uh, no, that would be nice. That'd yeah. be in fact... It's called Time Bank Hours. Um, never, never, never heard of it, but that sounds absolutely. What I do is they come, and all I say to them is, "It's your time." Mm. I am not a eight till nine bloke or anything like that. So you can turn up one day a week yep. or seven days a week. It doesn't mm. matter. But obviously, the more time you're here the more you learn mm -hmm. and the quicker you learn. Mm -hmm. And what they want to do at the end of the day is get to a certificate uh, place, which is HETAS certificates. H-E-T-A-S. Yeah, do the, the one they, behind they you, if you have a look, up on the wall. All right. And if you get up, if they get to a standard... <laughs> where you can take that that course, which mm -hmm. is a day course, obviously, yep. for your certification. A bit boring by the time you've done all this. <laughs> <laughs> What's but, boring? But the end of the day comes down to it is that you've got the experience mm -hmm. and then you've got the certification. 
and then you know how to, how to 